Hello and welcome guys. In this video session, we are going to implement Matte Blazer. Matte Blazer is a material design component for Blazer application. So here I created one Blazer server application. I added one menu and one Blazer component and here I am going to implement the Matte Blazer components. To start this, we need to install the Matte Blazer NuGet package inside our Blazor application. I am going to follow Matte Blazor document for my reference. So I will give this link on the video description. You can follow the same. So we are going to install first, first Matte Blazor NuGet package. Go to Visual Studio. Stop the application from running. Go to the NuGet package management manager. So here right click on the project, manage NuGet packages. In the browse section, search Matt Blazor. Install the first one. Accept it. Okay, it got installed. Wait for some time. Yeah, it got installed. Step the application, close this new get package window. Now, follow the document from Matt Blazor website. We need to are using Matt Blazor inside our underscore import dot razor. So go to our underscore import dot We need to are using Matt Blazor. Okay, next step. We need to add one script and one style sheet reference or CSS reference inside our underscore host or CSSTML. Guys, I am doing this one in Blazor server application. So I am going to here pages folder underscore host dot CSSTML. But if you are doing in Blazor web assembly application, you can go to www root index dot HTML. Okay, so here after the blazor framework server.js add this javascript and style sheet reference okay close these pages now we are ready to go with our material designing from matte blazor so simple way i am going to first do the buttons click on this buttons you can find the style everything so these are the one kind of buttons here and these are the buttons so copy paste these buttons right i don't need this on click event for now just for now i'm just going to show how to design the material or how to design the pages run the application Guys, Matt Blazor is giving so many components that can be very useful to our application. For today, I am going to take very few components, very reuse like, like you can say button, text box, dead picker with a very beautiful style. Wait for some second, let the application run. While the application is running, meanwhile you can subscribe to my channel. So go to the Matt Blazor. So you can see how the button are coming and how my programming is written. You can see here. Regged equal to true. So it is regged. It is unelevated. It is outlined and it is danced. Right? Let's use some other Thing. So let's use some progress bar. It's very easy. So you can see this progress bar has 0.6 progress. Okay. And this progress bar has 0.35 and buffer is there. So here you can see this intermediate progress bar. It's always running. And this is reversed. So intermediate equal to true, reverse equal to true. So like this, copy paste all the things, 
and add the into our blazer razor component rerun the application guys after this video i will deploy this i will upload this application and i will give the source code in the comment box so you can see very beautiful progress bar we can create right so we can create icon also these are the icon copy paste this icon so let's give some separator so it will be good it will look good rerun the application you can see here icon also coming so let's use some other functionality like date picker it will give you a beautiful date picker component okay so you can see here these are the date picker style a beautiful calendar is coming no need to add your own css Let's add this particular code inside our application. Okay, so it's a met date picker bind value equal to date one. Date one is the our public date and time properties here. So get and set date and time dot add date minus time. Okay, rerun the application. So you can see date picker. You can empty the date picker. How why it is written for empty? For empty text, it is written date one equal to null. Now it is written date one equal to date and time dot now. Okay. In this way, we can use date picker also. Same way, you can use. different kind of file upload functionality so it is a very beautiful file upload box it, you can drag and drop your file here the radio button right and the check box the auto complete list also you can get let add this auto complete list inside to our application so i'm let's give some separator here okay and inside this we have a st string of array in this string of array we are giving some values and we are adding this to into our items option okay we run the application you can see the auto complete list box also coming so in this way we can use mat blazer design component inside our blazer application guys i hope you like my video if you like my video smash the like button and share this video with your friends thank you very much